So we're excited to show you our foundational product, the Rescue Randy. Our number one selling product line, selling thousands each year. It's the number one most trusted and well-known brand with decades of experience. Our focus today is on a wide range of options NASCO Healthcare has in rescue training with the world leading line of products. We will begin going over the Rescue Randy family briefly and related products that support victim extraction, treatment of wide range of scenarios that your clients need to train for. Markets include things like fire rescue, police, military, security training, as well as water rescue, mass casualty training for professionals and the general public. Additionally, some people even use the mannequins in gyms. The core is built around victim extraction on the, the Randy and the large body Randy. The Randy is about five foot five, approximately 165 centimeters in height. The large body Randy is six foot one, approximately 185 centimeters in height to reflect different population sizes. Both come in a variety of weights from unweighted at about 55 pounds up to 250 pounds. In the US, the 165 pound is the most common weight of choice. A special note for end users, many end users state that the mannequins feel about 20 pounds heavier than they actually are. And this is because the mannequins are dead weight. Rescue Randy is super durable, extremely rugged to withstand years of training and upgradable with many add-ons and additions. It comes with a three-year warranty. The main feature is that it's weighted perfectly to replicate a human body. Unlike cheaper, stiffer competitors, this will help first responders prepare for real life. When we look at the column for the Rescue Randy, we see various options like Jennifer, which is a child-sized rescue mannequin weighing about 16 pounds and is an exact replica of a five to eight year old child. A special note, the Randy line uses recycled metals and helps us to be a net waste plastic consumer, allows us to produce nearly zero plastic weights, making our mannequins eco-friendly. We're also proud that the mannequins are made here in the US. All the base models have this in common, a thick vinyl skin, rugged internal frame made out of steel, range of weights, so you can fit that to the population you're trying to train to, weighted limbs and a center of gravity consistent with real humans uh, of the same size. Another option in the Randy family is the Randy 9000. It's a modular design that can be filled with things like sand to meet the heavier weights and offers additional movements in the hips and waist the Randy 9000 comes only in the adult size. The modular design is easy to ship. And since it doesn't have additional weight prior to shipping, it's also easy to ship. The sand or weight can be added on site. So this is a nice advantage for items that we need to ship internationally. Also, as I mentioned earlier, the waste can rotate. And we're gonna cut back to Khaled here in just a second. Um, and I just want to point out, we also have the water rescue, which we'll also be going over here as well. We're going to be going over the International Association, excuse me, the International Association of Firefighters and a mannequin that we developed uh, jointly with them for the combat challenge. So when Khaled gets a chance, we're going to, that's our CCRR. We cut back over, there we go. So Khaled, when you get a chance, could you rotate the mannequin on its side to be able to show the butt flap? One of the things that happens in rescue is being able to pull or skid the mannequin on the ground. And they wanted to have additional durability. So we added an additional flap, a skid flap to protect the buttocks of the mannequin when it gets dragged. As you can see, it's a thick, heavy vinyl. 
Another variation we have is the rugged Randy. And what we've done there is internally we've replaced some of the metal rods with high density cables. We have also reinforced the joints with mesh and this helps reduce the risk of tears in the vinyl. So you can see in the elbow where the rods and penetrations come through, those are reinforced with wire mesh in the vinyl itself. And again, this all ties in into the adult large size body Randy. On a regular Randy, we have a flexible option which uses a tubing system to allow and cables to allow additional flexibility. This allows easier to get in and out of cars or provide for handcuff training. Next, we're going to be touching on the thermal imaging capabilities of the Randy. So Khaled can show the plug-in ports. The TIA Randy allows thermal scanner to pick up heat differential to locate the victim. The key here is that we preheat the mannequin's hands and head in the ports that he's indicated here by plugging those in. It can be powered by AC or DC power, 12 volt power supply from a car or a battery pack. So this can be taken in the field pretty much anywhere. Once heated, the arms and the, or excuse me, the hands and the head are unplugged and the mannequin will provide a heat profile for approximately an hour or longer for training. So Khaled, when you get a chance, you can go ahead and activate the thermal scanner and be able to show people the thermal profiles consistent with your own hand. I'll also mention the fact that the TI Randy comes both in large body and also in infant size. So you can see when we're going in in background, there's his hand. And now if you can bring the scanner close to the mannequin's hand and bring it down, you'll be able to be able to pick up the profile on the mannequin. Down a little bit. There we go. So you can see the back of the hand and Khaled's hand. This provides an excellent way to train for somebody who's been ejected from a car from a crash site for EMS, for police and security to search and capture, for military or locating hidden personnel. So it's got a wide range of training beyond the smokehouse used in firefighter training. The heating elements and heads and hand allow for preheating prior to use. And since the system can get wet because it's preheated, there's very little damage, or excuse me, very little risk to the users during training because we don't have any electrical connections uh, that can get wet during training. Next, we're gonna transition over to the water rescue family. In water rescue, we have adult, adolescent, child, and infant. And we've got some representations here to go over. They're designed to sink. And the way we manage that is by filling with water. So Khaled, if you can show on the right shoulder of the adolescent, the fill port. This is common for both the adult and the adolescent. The mannequin gets filled with water. There's also an abdominal cavity where we can add additional weight. And where this comes in is if an instructor wants the mannequin to sink more quickly, that port can be opened and additional weight can be put inside. You can also see the internal metal structure. And the metal, in this case, is stainless steel. And the metal helps reduce corrosion and prolong the life of the product. Before I go too much further, any questions? On the infant, we also have a option of filling it with air. This is true for the child as well, or we can fill them with water. So it gives the uh, educator the option to use the mannequin for compressibility or have it weighted for submergence. You can see there is also a fill port and a drain port on both feet. This is the water connection to fill the mannequin with water.
So again, any questions that we can go over over the basic operation or the mannequins themselves, feel free to add those into the chat at any time. Okay, great. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna cover trauma. And we've got a couple of options. The entry level option for trauma is a trauma overlay that supports wound packing, tourniquets, and is designed to fit over the large body rescue Randy. So we swing back to our friend over here. The overlay system itself is very easy to operate. It's got tube connections that provide connections to the limbs as well as to the pumping system. It's a vinyl overlay for durability and it's easy to operate. And again, this can fit over existing large body Randy's. This supports combat life-saving level of care, which is a basic life-saving level of care. By that, we mean we can do wound packing, we can apply tourniquets and pressure dressing. The other training evolution is extraction. So we can treat the patient and remove them from the site. The goal here is to stop bleeding with tourniquets, wound packing and extraction. For more advanced training, the Casualty Care Randy offers a number of important support elements beyond the trauma overlay. These include airway management, chest needle decompressions, a surgical trait. So you can see the insert, the white piece there, <coughs> excuse me, that is a replaceable surgical uh, trach. If Khaled can pull the head skin down, we'll be able to see the modified underframe. And this is one of the differences between a traditional large body Randy and the combat casualty Randy, is this is modified to allow airway devices to enter. We also have modifications on the chest to support the needle chest decompression and also to be able to palpate ribs for proper placement of the needles for insertion. It also supports additional options like fluid administration. The system comes with a manual foot pump or has an optional electric pump. The trainer supports battlefield tactical combat critical care level of care. This is advanced level life saving. That's one of the key differences between this and the trauma overlay is that now we're doing a higher level of care. Some of the key takeaways, the head skin and airway of the mannequin. You notice that the two layers of the overlay, one is for the moulage, a second is for an underform which supports protecting the underlying mannequin as a wetsuit. The chest sites support needle decompression. And the goal here is for more advanced care than what we have trained for with the trauma overlay. It comes with a special modified Randy to support the advanced procedures for airway management and fluid administration. We also have additional videos that are on our portal and also on the NASCO Healthcare YouTube site that go into the operation of the Casualty Care Randy in far more detail than we're going here. Again, this is just to give a general overview of the wide range of options in the Rescue Randy and the Rescue family of products. So before I go any further, let's see what we have in the chat with any questions. On behalf of myself and on behalf of NASCO Healthcare, I want to invite you all again to visit the portal at nascohealthcare.com. And also thank you for attending today on behalf of myself and Khaled um, if you have additional questions, feel free to reach out to your sales reps in the regions that you're in. That's what we're here for, is to support you out in the field. Uh, so again, thank you for attending. Thank you.